Did I scare you? It's Halloween! Yeah! Ooh, Halloween! Whoa. So, I am here today to show you something absolutely fantastic I thought of last night. We all get these chocolate bars. Okay, maybe not these chocolate bars, but a smaller version of those. And the one thing we need is to eat more chocolate. So what we are going to do today is a three ingredient recipe for, get this, Halloween cookies. So, we're gonna have an O. Henry bar. This is like four little Halloween sized chocolate bars all smushed in together into one. And we are going to make three ingredient oatmeal cookies. So I'll bring you down to the table and we can get this going. Yeah! Okay, so here we have our first banana. We are peeling. We are going to be using two bananas and then obviously get rid of the little nipple. And we're going to be putting two bananas in the bowl. And into the bowl. And now we are going to smush them down. We're going to go smushy smushy. And as this is Halloween, I should say that by smushing them down, that kills any worms that could be in there. <laughs> that's, that's something for you to really think about when you're eating bananas is worms. So once you get it into somewhat of a gooshy mess, you are going to be using whole grain oats and about a cup of them. So let's let's get a cup of them in there. That's about a cup. So now we're going to be mixing this around. Now once that is done, we are going to be adding the chocolate bar, the O. Henry, the thing that looks like a turd. We're going to be chopping this up into really small little pieces. You're going to get a better knife. And then obviously, because I want to, I'm going to have a piece for myself. Now you're going to be adding it all together. It all falls in. Yay! Now you're going to mix it all together one more time. Now we are coming over here, and we are going to be setting the, the oven for bake. And then we're going to go for 375. And then we are going to start. And it's going to warm up. And then we will be entering them into the cauldron of greatness. Uh, once that is all warmed up and preheated, we will be entering that into the cauldron. And then we will be able to have some beautiful, beautiful cookies. And uh, give me a few seconds. Let's go some TV magic or YouTube magic and do this. Yeah. Okay, so the oven has warmed up. We have our stuff that I put in the fridge while that was warming up. And now we can get a, a, a fork full. We can put it on there. We can squeeze down. And if you'd like, you can even get a handful. And squeeze it into a ball. And put it on the pan. Push down. So this makes roughly... Eight cookies, and now we're gonna stick it into the oven after I wash my gooey gooey hands. So now we have preheated the oven for 375, or what we can call the cauldron. And we are gonna stick these beautiful cookies into the cauldron. The cauldron is going to be, well, they're gonna be in the cauldron for about 10 minutes. So we'll come back to those in 10 minutes. I'll see you guys then. And there they are, look at that. They are so good, oh my god. Some of them melted the chocolate, actually they're all melted chocolate, but most of them stayed together. That one didn't, but that one didn't, but most of them did. So that's okay. Let's try these out in a second once they warmed, warm or cool off, I mean, I should say. Okay, so here we are, we have, uh, well, these things. So they turned out pretty good. They stay together at least. Let's try them for the first time ever. Mm. Amazing. Try them out. They're so good. Oh my god. 
See you guys next time.